I have not done a book tag in a long time. So, hello, it's been a while. Um, how are you guys doing? Are you doing well? Because I feel out of my element. <laughs> I don't even remember how I used to set the tripod up, so it really has been a while. But today it is time for the end of the year book tag. I have not seen any booktubers post this, so I feel like I missed my shot. Um, it is the middle of J J November when I'm filming this, just so you guys know, but like, where is everybody else's? Yes, today we're here to do the end of the year book tag because I really want to do this tag this year because I think I got some good juicy answers. So, let's get into it. Alright, so the first question is, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? I have two. The first one is The Scar by Sergi and Marina Diacinico. I've literally checked this out and renewed it from my library like seven times, so I really do need to finish this book. This is by the people who wrote Vida Nostra, and I will talk about Vida Nostra later in this, in this video. And so I was really excited to pick this up, and I read like 40 pages, and then it just got put on my continue reading shelf and it's been up there since like the end of June early August it's been on there for a long time so I really need to finish this one so that I can read their other book that's been translated and then sit in the depressing void of not having any Marina and Sergi Daichinico books also I want to finish this book so I can like come to a conclusion about whether or not they're my new favorite authors because after Vida Nostra, that is what I started saying. And I've only read one book by them, so I really don't know if that's true or not. So, I need to finish this one. It needs to go back to my library, and I need to be able to recommend it to people. So, I need to finish it. The other book I need to finish is The Art of Prophecy by Wesley Chu. I own this one. I bought it at Barnes & Noble for $30, I believe that's what the price was. Yep, $28.99. So, I actually own this one. I bought it full price, a hardcover. I need to finish it. I read this in August and then I stopped about 220 pages and I can tell you exactly why I stopped reading this because I was really really enjoying it and then like part two I think that's what happened appeared and happened and all the characters that we spent the first part getting to know were suddenly spread across and there was multiple storylines we were following and there were a lot of new characters being introduced which if you're wondering why I stopped there because maybe you'd think that's like more of a reason to pick it up and to fly through it well that happened with the poppy war by RF Kuang and I was loving that book absolutely salivating over it and then part two happened, and all the characters we knew and loved had either died, I think, or they were gone, and we were just supposed to be okay with these new characters entering the story that had no progression, no, like, characterization aside from being, like, straight on. So, yeah, I'm afraid that's happening with this book. I don't know if it is going to happen. Wesley Chu has written many more books than R.F. Kuang has, and so it's very possible. Very, it's probably very happening, you know? That that doesn't happen, but I'm scared that my enjoyment for this book is going to suddenly just like, because it's going to become the Kuang problem. That's what I just deemed it, the Kuang problem. But those two are the ones that I really, really want to finish before the end of the year because I think I'm going to like them and I'm kind of scared that something might happen where I don't. The next question is, is there a new release that you're still waiting for? And in all honesty, my answer to this question is no, not that I can think of. I am at my library waiting for Kaiju number three and Kaiju number four. Uh, Kaiju number eight volumes one three and volume four to be put into the system so that I can bring them home Read them in one day and one sitting and then bring them back to the library to share with all my little friends Who I forced to read that series and adore and also I'm waiting for soul leveling volume four to come out of my library They've both gone into the boss's office to be put into the system and they've not come out yet Because we are doing Christmas trees, which means that everything just comes to a standstill. So I am up I'm I'm waiting for those. And those did come out this year, but they haven't like come out at the end of the year. They've already been out. I've just been waiting for them to be put into the system. So does do those count? Do those count? Because that's my answer. 
Alrighty, so the next question is, what are three books that you want to read by the end of the year? So I have a few that I'm going to be reading with my granny, but I'm not going to count those because they will definitely get read. So let's count some that may or may not get read. First two places go to Solo Leveling Volume 4 and Kaiju Number 8's Volume 3 and Volume 4. I love those two mangas, stories, graphic novels, whatever you want to call them. Love them so, so much and I'm very, very excited to get them. Uh, and they'll be coming soon. I'll have them in my hands so soon. I just can't wait. This is the third book that I would like to read before the end of the year that I haven't started. That is Ordinary Monsters by J.M. Miro. I was the one who requested that my, my library order this in. So I would love to read it. It's a big book. I love big books. And it's like a mystery book. I don't really know for sure. It's a historical fantasy. And yeah, why not? I don't know a lot about this, but I've heard earlier this year, I heard so many people talk about it, and it just piqued my interest. I saw it was big, I liked the cover, I like fantasy, and so I picked, I at the library ordered it back in May, and it came in in, in October, I believe. So, you know, but I'm so excited to have this. I would love to read it. I just need to sit down and make time to read. That's my problem. I don't do that. I need to, so. I was looking for the question that's like, what's your new book boyfriend from a book he read this series? Because I can't, I don't know where that is. I can't find it. So I'm going to include that. The next question is, what is one character that you have come to love throughout the year of reading? And for that, I have... Samokina from Vita Nostra. Um, I love her. I love the book. I love her. So she gets to go in that place. As for who is my new book crush, a character who's from a book that I just adore and I love and find super attractive, that is my man from Solo Leveling. I believe his name is Jin Wu. They don't ever really say his name, but I think that's his name. And I love him. And I've seen his haircut. In, C, uh, in volume four, and <laughs> I love him so, 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 so much. I love the story of uh, Solo Leveling a lot. And I love like how like twisted he's becoming. So I really, really love him as a character as well. Him and Vita Nostra's character, Sam Okina, kind of have a lot of similarities. Not a lot, but they have, they have quite a few crossing similarities to their characters, um, not in like the exact same way, but they will cross and then go in their own little paths. But Jin Wu, I love him. I can't wait. I mean, just look at him. Like, look at him. I love him so much. So there we go. If you haven't read Solo Leveling, read Solo Leveling. Okay, and then the last question in this tag that I thought was a lot longer and had more detailed personal questions is, is there a book you haven't started yet but you think will become your new favorite. No, 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 nay, nada, inte, inte impossible. It's not possible, okay? Because here's the thing. A book has never hit me in the feels like Vita Nostra did. And I adore Vita Nostra. Love it to death. To my core, it is my, it's like the sole thing that keeps my heart beating. And so no, nothing in this world could beat out Vita Nostra as top number one. Aside maybe another one of their books, I'm not quite sure. Maybe a book that hasn't been written yet could beat out Vita Nostra. But until then, no. No, it's not possible, it's not happening. So, yeah, Vita Nostra right here. I'm not touching it because I put lotion on because my hands are so chapped for putting Christmas trees up at the library. So, I'm not going to touch it and dirty it with my fingerprints. But I love this book. I love the characters. I love the plot. I love the confusingness. I got Sophie to read it and she loved it. People at the library know I love it. And then somebody at the library who's a patron came in and I just happened to mention, like, I was like, Vita Nostra. I don't remember how we got on the topic, but I mentioned the title and she said that she had heard of that book. And I was like, this is my moment. And I was like, 
you should read it. You should. It's fantastic. So you have to be okay with being confused, but if you're okay with that, you're gonna eat that stuff up like I did. I didn't know that this was my type of book until I read it and gave it five stars. That's all I have to say, okay? I could talk about this book forever, so we're gonna cut it off right there. Thank you all so much for coming to this video. I hope you guys liked it. This is not the tag that I remember, so maybe I'm like not remembering the appropriate tag. Uh, and I did not feel like scrolling through all my videos to find my last end of the year book tag that I did. But tell me down in the comment section your answers to these questions and feel free to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you guys all in my next one. Adios. Hey Dua. Goodbye. And hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer.